Miss Giselle, girl, you can't be mad at nobody but you and yourself. This was completely and 100% your fault. You were, I would say you are an OG of Real Housewives of Potomac. And you are the one that has caused yourself to slide to second seat. And it's the lack of your story, the existence of your story, always going into everyone else's lane and boundaries instead of standing firm on your own. What happened with you and Jamal trying to work things out? We never got a resolution to that story. And we're looking at it as viewers like, are you trying to play in our faces? Are you trying to play in our faces? You can't be mad at Bravo. You can't be mad at Andy. Now, listen, I'm going to say this is all alleged and in my opinion, but Miss Giselle Bryant is upset that she got moved over and Mia is now the new Queen B. But see, Mia, Mia brings a little something extra to the table. She doesn't just bring some gossip or, you know, she doesn't just bring, you know, a read here or there, but she actually has a storyline. She's actually, actually a house wife. And there's got to be some level of integrity to the show. Karen is a house wife. Mia is a house wife. You know, Giselle, when we met you, you, were, you weren't a housewife. I mean, you used to be, but it's like you painted some story, and as soon as Jamal didn't want to be a part of it anymore because, you know, of everything that comes with the territory of being in reality TV, you know, you just decided to back away. And we hear no more about this rekindling of a relationship. And I know it was your dad who said that he didn't want this to be, but I mean, I guess now that you're kids are starting to get older and you're and they're going off to college now uh maybe you're looking in a new direction but all we see here and there is you date a guy but we don't really see the continuity of a relationship of you being an actual housewife we just see you prancing and prodding all around in everyone else's business i mean you're sitting here making NECA the queen of uh potomac to get inside under Karen's skin. It's like, but you know, what do you have to share about your life and your story? Because the way we see it, your story has pretty much concluded. It's like, what is it that you have to give us viewers? And what is it that you're adding value to the show of? Because I think Bravo is giving you a real big rude awakening. They're giving you a rude awakening and, you know, they have shown you that this seating chart is not just taken, you know, just for the reunion. It's taken as to who you are and your place on this show. And that's why you have to be moved to second chair. And Mia is sitting in first chair because she exudes and embodies what an actual housewife is. Because really, you probably just, maybe, maybe you belong on something like, you know, preacher's wives or something like that, or I don't know. I, I, I really don't know, but I don't see housewife anymore because, I mean, a lot of the girls these days in these franchises, they're not married. So, you know, I'm not saying that that's just you, but if you're not married, what is it that you're bringing to the table to be and exude a housewife? If it's not a relationship, then What's your story? Because you can't go around trying to break up everybody else's marriage and and trying to, you know, uh, uh, pre and prod, especially what you did to Candace's husband, you know. People have not forgotten about that. So, you know, it's, it's really coming down to, 
this is a rude awakening. This is really a rude awakening. And you need to be cognizant of what it is that you're doing on camera. Uh, you need to be cognizant of what it is that you are bringing to the show, if anything, which us viewers, we really don't see much of. We really don't see much of anything that you're bringing to the show. So it's like, what reason is there to keep you around? What reason is there to keep you around if you're not really bringing anything to the show? Uh, let's just give you another chance. But trust and believe, Bravo will definitely, Bravo will definitely reduce you as a friend to the show in a heartbeat. And, and, and they're showing people this left and right. They've cut Marla, okay? Candy even, I mean, they say Candy didn't get cut, but you know, they th that contract wasn't right. Candy ain't gonna walk away from the highest paid housewife and you only gotta work four months out of the year. So they cutting these contracts down. Yes, indeed they are. They cutting these contracts down. And they're reducing contracts. They're making people friends of the show. And they're not giving out pickup letters. But let's see if you get yours. But listen, the ball is in your court. And I say you should take this hint, heed this message, and get your act together, Giselle. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to this video. And let me know what y'all think in the comments.